always struggled with my mental health. When I was little, I had the worst anxiety. I couldn't ever talk to even family friends. I could never talk to them. It was always hard making friends. I was always crying. I was always scared. It was always really hard. When I was in seventh grade, I found the term social anxiety. And that's kind of when I pieced everything together and realized that's what I have, and it's really bad. Sometime later in seventh grade, after I realized what I had, I told my mom and she was pretty much like, that makes sense, because I had always been like that. And it's not something I grew out of, it's something I still had. So it was something we had to deal with. My mom's from the US, and my dad's from Mexico City. Um, they met in Mexico, they got married, they had me, and my dad moved in with us. And coming from a different country, everything was really hard for him to adjust to. And that took a toll on his mental health, took a toll on our family. Towards the end of seventh grade, me and my mom separated from my dad. So before eighth grade started, we went to family therapy, but it didn't work out because I just wasn't at a place where I could talk to anyone. My social anxiety was still really, really bad. So when I was in eighth grade, I was prescribed Celexa to treat my depression and anxiety. And I was also prescribed Xanax. Eventually, I was weaned off of Alexa and on to Prozac and I was prescribed out of an instead of Xanax because it's less addictive to say the least the only thing I have to thank for still being alive is my medication where I am right now is the least anxious I've ever been and I never thought I would be here my mom never thought I would be here like talking in front of a camera that's not something I could have ever done before. When I'm older, I think my mental health will be both worse and better. I'll never be perfectly happy, but I'll never be completely depressed. It's always gonna be a little bit of both. The reality is you just have to deal with both in order to get the good. I feel like in the media, guys' mental health is represented poorly. When guys suffer from a mental illness, they seem to react to them in a bad way, usually through anger or through subsiding the pain by like coping mechanisms that aren't necessarily healthy. And they don't really take the necessary precautions that you should take if you're suffering from a mental illness. I feel like what the media can do to represent guys' mental health is to actually represent fixing their mental illnesses in a good way. They should be showing males going to a therapist. I feel like my friends would definitely support me if I had a serious issue. Although the media represents guys' mental health very poorly, they do a really good job of representing mental illness as a whole. And because of that, me and my friends are more knowledgeable about the effects of mental illnesses. I feel like with my close friends, I definitely do not have a problem talking about my problems. With my girlfriends, I don't have an issue because psychologically girls are more emotionally intelligent than men. The way that girls like tend to interact with each other, I would say is completely different from how guys tend to communicate with each other. When girls communicate with each other, they tend to talk about feelings or like what they're going through emotionally or like their issues and problems, which is very different from like what guys talk about, which is anything that doesn't really have to do with like emotions or our feelings. If anything, I would say that guys feel awkward whenever they're talking to another guy about their feelings because it's not something that they usually do. Toxic masculinity plays a great role on how I view myself and how I view on others. We already like have a sense of what masculinity is, basically looking a certain way, thinking a certain way, doing certain actions, maybe like even a certain voice. And it's very easy not to fit into those expectations that society puts on us. 
And as a result, it's very easy to develop mental illnesses through that.